season we want to appreciate our god the most excellent all in all god for us who love us so much to give us his only begotten son uh we thank god that the journey has just started yesterday and today is day two uh before we continue let us bow down our head and pray jehovah Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, Father, the hour has come, O Lord, for you to magnify yourself in our midst. We want to know you more, O Lord. In this Lenten season, we want to know you. We want you to make yourself known unto us. Father, do so, so in Jesus' mighty name. Let the power of anointing work with us. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Children of God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank God for what he's doing in our midst. And yesterday we started the program, Ash Wednesday. And we said the purpose of Ash is when you see Ash on somebody or in the olden days or in the scripture, it shows that they are grieving or they are mourning. And... When we put that, we use the ash as a sign of cross upon us, we are grieving for our sins. We are so sorry. It means that we are sorry for our sins. And if that is the case, then that means that we are ready to repent. We are ready to repent. Hallelujah. And if we are ready to repent, that means that we, can, we have so many things to do. Hallelujah. So now we have shown remorse yesterday and this second day. What is the next thing that we need to do? Hallelujah. I want to tell you repentance is a journey 
is not done with a word of mouth. You don't repent with word of mouth. You go through certain things before you know you before you can have a contract at or before you can become a somebody that really repented. Hallelujah. So repentance is not just when you get there and you just open your mouth and talk. Yes, I've, God, forgive me. I'm, I have now repented. And that you think that is it. No, it's more than that. So repentance is more than just using our mouth to talk. It's just it's, it's bigger than using our mouth to talk. So repentance has to do with you going through so many things in in yourself and then how do we do that how do we go about this we want to that is what we want to look at today how do you go about this uh, about this because now we as we said god we are ready to repent search our hearts but how will is how will is search our hearts when we are when when we have not put ourselves before him and that is what we want to look at today Hallelujah. So, the area that needs to be changed is our heart, not our mouth, not our body. That is why when we were reading it yesterday, we read about the word that says unto us that rend your heart and not your garment. Rend your heart and not your garment. So today, it's going to take us like seven days that we're going to use to work on this searching. Sir, ma, brethren, you cannot repent until the, 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 there's a touch light, a touch, a light that goes deep into your, in, into your system and bring out the thoughts. Basically, what we see outside, what people see outside, or the behavior that happens outside is just, the, is just a product of certain things inside. If the, the inside is not corrected, the outside cannot be corrected. Hallelujah. So that is why we have it in, 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 the, in, in churches now. People will come and say, yes, they are repented, but they are still in the same system. They are still doing the same thing that they used to do. So that means that they have not really, the, the word repentance is like just a word in their mouth. It's not really something that they need to do, they, they know how to do. We have to go, we want to go into this series and see what it is, what it means. When, we say, when the word of God said, we have to repent. Number one, we have to start asking us from today, God, search me. With that God bringing out what is wrong inside of you, you cannot really repent it. You cannot have a, a permanent repentance. You will just be going and coming out. You'll be going and coming out until, until you have been dissected, until you have been uh, like, a, like, like a surgeon open you up and then bring out the source of the problem we can the real repentance cannot happen the real repentance happens when we are when god really walk inside of us when god really walk inside of us that is when we have real repentance so that is what we want to look at today how do we get this one done let me start with David, after David committed the adultery, he was still the king and he is still doing what he's supposed to do. But the day God sent a prophet unto him to tell him that, to, yes, to tell him what he did, then that is the day he himself realized it. So God opens him up. Something he did in secret. And he felt he has even covered himself up. But God came into the scene and opened him up. He, God dissected him and make out where the problem came out from. And you can see 
when he was praying for forgiveness of sin, he was praying from the heart, not from the mouth. Hallelujah. When he prayed for forgiveness of sin, he was praying from what? From the heart and not from the mouth. Because of what? Because it, the, 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 God brought out the source where the problem is. He and he himself was able to come before the Lord and say, Father, yes, truly I'm a sinner. Most of, that, most of the time we pray, uh, all my known sins and unknown sin. Father, forgive me. All my known sin, sin and unknown sins. So what about, so because we have not asked him to search us out. You need to see in this first week of this uh, lengthen period, whether you are fasting or you are not fasting, whether you are observing it or you are not observing it, but you can take charge, charge of this time and ask God to search you. Ask God to search you. Not until God bring forth what is wrong inside, the outside cannot be corrected. Hallelujah. I'm going to repeat that. Not until the problem, the source, is being, God locates the source from inside. Your outside is just going to be normal way. You will come and repent today. Tomorrow, you are going to do the same thing. That is what it is. Because of what? You are not really, that repentance is not coming from your heart. It's just from your lips. And that is why we want to read this scripture that, we, we, that God gave unto us today. That we need to start searching. Ask God to search us out. We want God to search us out. God to really bring out what is wrong inside of us. Not until God performs this, we cannot go beyond where we are. Hallelujah. So Psalm 139 verse 23 and 24. That is where we want to use. Psalm 139. Verses 23 and 24. Look at it now. So that search me, O God, and know my heart. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Not only that, try me, know my thoughts. So that means that two things that we need to know our heart and the thoughts, the heart and the thoughts. Those are the things that need to be corrected. Once we are able to shape it in the word of God, then you will see that we are going to be healed. God will now work with us. Most of the times we are using our mouths to confess, to say, yes, God, I am, yes, I am a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. Father, forgive me. And that is all. No, that is one is coming from the mouth. But the one that we really, really need to do in this period is the one that we come from our heart. And the only person that can do that for us is God. That we need to start asking him, God, search me out. Father, search me. Search me. Come into me and search me. So that if there's anything, if there's anything, that is worrying, that is inside of me, that will not allow me to change or that will not allow me to really repent. Father, expose me. Expose me out. This is where we have major Christians afraid to ask this question. We are so afraid to ask God to search us out because we know when, it's, when God comes to the, to the scene, into the scene to search you, God will dissect you and bring out what you have done wrong and then it will be able to correct you. But we want to correct ourselves. We want to see it ourselves and we want to just go before the Lord and talk. Hallelujah. That is not the way of repentance. And I said, repentance is a journey. It's not just as salvation is a journey. So also repentance is not something that you just say, yes, I, yes, I repent. And then you think that is, no. If we, if we examine the case of the prodigal son, from taking his father's wealth, his portion, to go to the far, far country and spend the money, that is now. Then he, don't, then he, started, he started begging for money. He started begging for food. 
then he got to a time that he now reasoned within, within himself that even the slave in my father's house are eating better food, talk less me that is a son in the house. Then what now happened? He now said, yes, I will go to meet my father. You can see that it was a process, a process of knowing, searching it. Where did I miss it? As soon as he discovered that he, he, well, the problem he has now is because he was disconnected from his father. He was disconnected from the source. Then he found himself where he, is not supposed, he was not supposed to be. And the same thing happened. When we are in sin, we are carrying weight. Sin is a weight. It's a very big weight upon us. And most of us thought we, just can, we can just open our mouth and say it and say, and then we thought we are confessing. That is not conversion. That is not repentance. That is not repentance. That is just a word of mouth. Repentance has to go inside of you first. You have to go in deep down into your spirit. As the, as the psalmist said, search me, God. Not you. So, want God to bring out what the old infirmity. Search me, O God. Know my heart. Try me and know my thought. Verse 24, now said, and see if there be any wicked way in me. Then, we can now see where he ended it, lead me in the way of salvation. Lead me in the way of salvation. Hallelujah. So, the word of God that is coming to us today, second day, in this London season, is search. We need to ask God to search us. We need God to search us by himself. Oh, we need him to come into the scene and bring out all the impurities in us. So that we can now know what is wrong with us. Most of the time we just felt by just the, the fornication you did, the, the stealing you did, or all those two, that is the that is where the problem that is where the problem is. That is not where the problem is. Where the problem is is more than that. Where the problem is is more than that. The problem is real deep in our hearts, in our hearts, in our hearts, not until not until we go deep down. We go deep down and then we submit ourselves to God for self, for cross-examination, for God to, to, to search us out and bring forth all the, bring out the, the impurities in us. Then we are not going to get total repentance. We will only be using our mouth to talk. So the first thing in the series of repentance is submission we need to submit ourselves to god we'll be going i said it's good with the first seven days in this series we'll be asking god to search us on before we start praying we, before we start praying on father forgive me of this sin father forgive me of this sin father forgive me of this sin then we first need to know the sin first it's not about you praying okay look at how many years we have been praying how many times we have been praying and we've been doing this and we have not gotten anything out. We are still where we are. We are still doing what we want to do. So then that means that it is more than that. It is just more than what we are saying. It is more than just talking. It is more than talking. Hallelujah. It is more than talking. So what we are saying is that what God wants us to do, what God wants us to, what we need to do, sorry, what we need to do is to open ourselves up to God. Submit ourselves. God, in this period, we need to be quiet first to and ask him to search us. Don't start praying. Father, forgive me. No, you, are, you don't even know what you need to pray on. You don't know what to pray on. That is why you cannot ask him to search. You cannot start praying. The first seven days in this Lenten period, it's meant for cross-examination. When God now brings out what is wrong in you, then you start asking for forgiveness of those things. Hallelujah. Let me repeat that. It was when God brought out what was wrong with David. That is when he, when he, that is where he was precise and he went straight to what the cause of his problem and he asked for forgiveness of sin. Most of the time, we don't submit ourselves unto God for cross-examination. We don't submit ourselves until we are ready 
for him to do it, God, then God will not do anything. We can, we can be saying it with our mouth. We can be talking with our mouth. We can be saying, yes, God, this and that. But the only the truth is you need, I need, I need to first submit myself unto the Lord. That's key number one. That when we are praying for repentance, we don't, uh, in this season, the first thing we need to do is not prayer. It's not prayer. The first thing we need to do is to submit ourselves unto God for cross-examination, for, for him to search us out. And look at what he said in 24, and see if there's any wicked way in me. So that means that our ways, or whatever what might be wrong with us, might be what we need to examine. Something is in us that we need to look at. Something is in us that we need to bring out. It's not the action that we have that we perform that is the sin. That is what people see and call sin. But sin is first done inside before we perform it outside. I'm going to repeat that again. Sin is what we did inside before we go and do it outside. Before David committed that sin, he saw and he desired it before he took an action. That is, that is, that is the way of, that is way. So, and when God too want to correct him, God brought out where the source of his problem and told him, this is what you have done. This is what you have done. This is what you have done. So, and he knows, and when he was praying, he did not ask, he did not talk about this, the fornication. He said his art. It was from the art that he got, the, he got the, the, the thing got missing. And that is where he asked God, Father, it's my heart. So most of the time, that is why what, what I need to say this. Every service day, we read Psalm 51. We pray for forgiveness of sin. Sometimes when we are praying ourselves, we pray for forgiveness of sin. But why are we not repenting from all those things that we are praying for? Because, number one, we have not submitted ourselves unto God to search us out and bring out the source of our problem. The source of that thing that is making us to sin. That thing that is making us to go out and do wrong thing is inside, it's not outside. Until we are being searched out and God now bring all those things out. That is when we cannot ask him, Father, I am a sinner. Then you are, you are not going to confess that's from the heart, from the depth of your heart, not from outside. So then God will not lead us into the way of everlasting. So the only, hallelujah, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. To get to the way of everlasting is not by being religious. It's not by being religious. It's not going to church, going to church, going to church, and the source of the problem is in your heart. Until you got, you get it out, you cannot get to that way of everlasting. That is what he said. Look at this. The, the psalmist did not pray. Did not start this, this war with prayer. Even if you look at verse 1, the verse 1 of the verse 1 of that Psalm 139. Oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understand my thought afar off. Hallelujah. So we can see that is in the searching. It's when we submit ourselves unto him to search us. So then it will bring out the source of our problem. Hallelujah. Number two. Number two. When we are in this, in this repentance journey. Number two thing is when God opens us up to what we are, what is wrong with us. <laughs> what we need to do is to accept that we are faulty, to accept that we are wrong, hallelujah, that we are wrong.
wrong, we should be open to correction. Sometimes we argue with the Holy Spirit. When we have been, when, when the Holy Spirit is speaking to us and is telling us where we have made it, where we have missed it, we are still saying we are trying to use our word to bribe or to change what the Spirit is telling, our spirit, telling us. And that is it. We must be open to correction. Open to correction. And if, if God corrected, I'm not talking about being corrected by a human being. No. Human being can correct. But what, when we are talking about repentance, it's only God that can search that out for you. It's only God that can bring forth that depth. Look, that is why we have to, that is why we read this psalm, Psalm 139. Search me, O God, and know my heart. It is in our heart. And no man can go to your heart and know what is in your heart. It's only God. So if the source of the problem is in our heart, then why do we why don't we go to him that knows the our sitting down and our standing up? That knows when we lie down and when we are awake. When that knows the word that comes out of our mouth. He is the only one that can solve all our problem. And if he's the only one, then to be to have a, to repent then that means that we have to go through a process, a process that needs to be, that we need to do is to first ask him to what? To, for, to, to search us, bringing out where we are wrong. For everybody that knows about raw gold, before the raw gold becomes the gold that everybody will desire, it, is, it will be first covered with what impurities. So it's, it's only the ghost meat that will know the impurities that are stored in that gold. Then it will go into that level of separating it and then bring out what is wrong and then leave the pure gold alone. And the only the, the 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 truth is this: when we have been dissected by God, number three, we must be ready to go through the rudiments of repentance. Number one, searching. God, we put ourselves unto God to search us. So if God, if we, op we are open for searching and is giving, giving us where we, where, where we got it wrong, the next one is to what? To be ready to go through a process. There is always a process to bring out the impurity from the, pu from the pure objects. So for God to, to, to have, for us to have a total repentance, there is going to be a process of God purging us. And in the purging, we go through so many things. And that is what we don't want to, what, what we don't want to see. And we not thought by just opening your mouth. And the Bible said that if we confess our sin, God is so good. And then he, 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 to forgive us. And we are not confessing from our mouth and from our heart. We are only doing that with our mouth. And God, who is not a man that needs to look at our face, or that look, needs to look at whether you to look at you, whether you are beautiful or not, has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the areas of our life that is wrong. So the 40 days, 40 nights that we are talking about, if you are fasting, and if you are not fasting, the Time, this time that everybody is going through, we can use it. Every one of us can use it to look at the journey, to look at our journey and see how we can have true repentance. There's difference between opening our mouth and, be, and ask for forgiveness and having a true repentance. True repentance comes from the heart. And it's only you can only get that when God search you out. When God searched you out, check it from Genesis to Revelation. It was when God searched them out 
or search the individual out that they know the source of the problem and then as soon as they are ready to correct, then God now take them in. Hallelujah. So the true repentance has to do with purging, has to do with separation, and has to do with you be ready to repent. Are you ready? Are we re am I ready? Am I ready? Are you ready? It's not me that is going to tell you you are a sinner or, or you are not a sinner. It's God. If you look at Psalm 26, Psalm 26, Psalm 26, verse 2, Psalm 26, verse 2, Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. We can see. So for seven days, we'll be talking about this art. Art. Art issue. It's not about your body. It's not about your physical body or what you, have, what you are doing outside. We'll be working on the heart. And we're going to be telling you what and what we need to do. So after the seventh day, if you go through what we are saying, you'll be able to know where, you, where that thing got missing. Then to pray, we'll now be able to pray concerning all our sins. So the one we do in church, bru, 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 oh, if it's silent uh, prayer, uh, Father forgive us, and then we think that is it. No, that is not, that's why there's no change in us. That's why there's no change in us because it's not going, it's not coming out from our heart. It's just coming out from the mouth because we, our heart, once we are really, really sorry, in every part of our body, we, we, we shake and we know, yes, we are really sorry. So, brethren, Self-examination and cost examination by God is the number one thing that we need to do now after we have spiritually put in the sack, the, 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 the arch, the cross arch, that, yes, we are ready, we are sorry for our sin. So the next thing is to ask God to search you. Just keep on asking him. Keep on telling him, out, God, search me out. Search me. David said, it is in my heart and my, it, examine me. That's Psalm 26 verse, verse 2. Examine me, O Lord. Prove me and try my reins. So it's not about coming to pray the first day, the second day. Prayer, we have been praying from the beginning and it has not ch changed anything. But what we change is when we allow God to search us and to know what is wrong in us. And then once we, bring, once we have that one being brought forward to us, towards us, then to pray along that line will be easy. We can only pray when we, what, when we know what is wrong with us. Not when we just feel... You see, what we are doing outside, I want to repeat that before we finish. What we are doing outside is not the real thing. What we are doing inside is inside. Because the outside is just a program of what is stored inside. So to change a thing, to have, to have things being changed, it has to be where? It has to start from inside. We have to go to the source of where the problem originated from. The pro our problem, our action, our act, and everything that makes us to be a civil person is in our heart. And at the same time, I'm going to round up with this. The burden we carry is in our hearts. We carry the burden of sin. We carry the burden of sin. And the burden is what? Is still in our heart. The burden is, so let's look at it. You've committed uh, an error or you've done one, you've, uh, you did a sin, uh, committed a sin. And then the sin is gone. But the burden of that sin still stay in our in the heart. So that is it. And if we want to take that burden out, we have to go to the same heart where the thing was, what, where that produces the sin. Then if we can take where the roots of that burden out of us, uh, of, of our heart, then the burden will, be, will, will disappear by itself. We carry the burden because what was, what is feeding what is feeding the burden is still in us. As soon as you take out what is feeding that body, 
what is feeding that body, then you will see that the 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 sin that or the burden that you're carrying will be will, will be gone. I pray in the name of Jesus that God, as God, we con we continue to search us and search us and search us. We will become who we are supposed to be, and the true repentance we come from our mouth in Jesus' mighty name. So, brethren, we are approaching repentance in a practical way, in a way that if you follow this series, you will see that the reason why we don't have people repenting is just because it's from, it's from the mouth. It's not about how many Bible you can quote. I mean, no, it's just until that source is being touched. The art, the art that, that is bringing forth the problem, the art where the problem is, when, you, when the source is, is being taken, when you take out the source, then you see that you are going to be free. And as soon as that burden is, is being lifted up in our life, we see ourselves, our body, so light. So that means that sin is powerful, heavy to carry. That's why Jesus said, come unto me, all who are heavily laden. So heavily laden is not something you carry like higher on your head. It's in the heart. If your heart is laden with so many things, you cannot, every time you'll be sighing, and you'll be sighing, you'll be sighing, Every time you will be sighing and say, oh Lord, what is, what is this? Why is this one happening to me? Because it's happening because we have not gone to the source of where the problem is. As soon as you get to the, prob to the source of the problem, you will discover that it will just go just like that. It will go by itself. And then true repentance takes away the burden. The true repentance takes away our burden through repentance takes away the burden in us. It takes it away. When we really repent, when we now say, yes, Father, forgive me, I'm ready. You will see that the burden we've been carrying for a very long time will be taken away immediately. And I pray in the name of Jesus that every, every lady that is in us, God will reveal, will reveal the source unto us. That is what we need to do for this first seven days. Father, reveal unto me, reveal unto me the source, the source of my every laden. That is what you'll be asking. That is your prayer. So because you, when you don't know where the source is, you cannot start praying. You cannot start praying until God show you where the problem is. Then that is, where, that is when you will need to ask him, God, I am sorry. I am sorry. That is where you can ask him, God, I am sorry. Because if you don't do that, you cannot ask for a, a pure heart. If you see what David did when, when he was shown his, the source of his own problem, he asked for a pure heart. So that means that before that time, his heart was not pure. Psalm 51 verse 10. Create in me a pure heart, O oh God, and renew a right, a, a renew a steadfast spirit within me. We need that. We need that. And I pray that God, in His infinite mercy, will reveal unto us. We reveal unto us. That is our prayer. Father, reveal unto me. Don't start confessing the sin that you don't know the source. You need to ask Him to take you to the source. To take you to the source first. Source of your problem. As soon as we know it, sometimes the warfare we are going through, we thought is from the enemy. Oh, it's not from the enemy. Oh, it is not from the enemy. It's from what? It is from the burden that is in our heart. So once the burden is, once we know the source of the burden, and we then we come to God and pray, God will take it off. And then we will not be able to ask him for the forgiveness of those sins. What you are calling sin sometimes. It's no more, it's not just a sin. It's just, it's just things that you that you perform outside of yourself. Where the real sin is, is in our hearts. 
And so, brethren, this is a problem. This is the prayer we want to pray today. The prayer is God. Father, search me out, O Lord. Search me out, O Lord. Search me out, O Lord. Open me up to a divine scrutiny. That is a prayer point. That is a prayer point for these seven days. Father, open me up to your divine scrutiny. Search me so that I can experience profound healing, restoration, and a deeper intimacy with you. As soon as God, as, as soon as you pray that prayer, you will see that God will start ministering unto you and tell you the source of the problem. Until we meet tomorrow on this same word of God, that he don't start praying, Father, forgive me. What you need to pray on is, Father, search me out. Search me out. Use seven days to ask. Because sometimes you can pick a signal today and you think uh, and you can uh, and you want to stop. No, don't stop asking for, for God to give you a divine scrutiny to search you out. Don't stop, don't stop. Because sometimes your body can still minister unto you. So by the time you do it for seven days, by the time you do the searching for seven days, you will see that God will not come out. It will keep on repeating it. When you see that word, that thing repeated several times unto you, that is the source. But the first day, your body can tell you because of you, you have not yet been, your body is not yet decomposed. You are still strong. So until you, your body has given way for the spirit, then the spirit will now come out and tell you, son, daughter, this is where you have missed it. Then that is where your prayer will be. You pray, you start praying. Let's leave the seven, first seven days to ask God to search us out so that we can know the source. The source is inside, it's not outside. The one we say with our mouth is not coming from our heart because we don't even know where, where, we, where we went wrong. Until that one is being dissected, we are dissected and God is opening us up we cannot pray. David is not pray. Not until God revealed the source unto him. And I pray that God will open us to divine scrutiny so that we can experience profound healing. Because the lady, the, 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 every lady that we carry, the, every lady that we carry is inside of our heart. It's not, in the, it's not outside. And the problem, where the problem of our life is or what makes us to sin is in the heart. So we need the heart to be purged, to, to purge the heart. And then the source of the, the only person that can purge your heart is God. So we need to ask him to purge our heart so that we can have restoration, we can have healing, we can have deeper intimacy with God. Till we see again tomorrow, on the same word that God search us out. Search me. My prayer is God, search me. I don't want to, I don't want to see myself as I have no needs. I don't want to see myself as, as if I've, uh, what I'm doing is right. No. God, bring all the impurities in me out so that I can correct myself. When it comes out, be open, be open, be open to correction. I'm not saying correction from man. For correction from God and be ready to be purged. Be ready to be purged. In the purging, something can get lost. Something you can you, because those things that you love so much, God might ask you to leave that because that is the source of your sin. The 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 the, the, the uh, when when David was going through his purging, we know what uh, what happened in his house. We know what happened in his home. We know what happened in his own life. That is purging. God would not purge you. Take out all these impurities. And then when you are praying for oh God to take it out, it will take it out. And once it's those impurities have been taken out, you go through real purging. And that's what we call healing. As a life coach, I know what it is when, to, when we are talking about healing the soul or healing the body. You cannot get healed, not until what the body in your body is taken out and the body is stored in the heart. And the only person that can do that is God. And I pray as we be tomorrow again to continue in our search. God, 
search me out. God, search me out. God, search me out. God will surely give you the answer to all your searching in Jesus' mighty name. So, till we see tomorrow, I want to release you under the peace and power of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us shout seven hallelujah to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Don't forget your prayer point for this for this next seven days is God search me out. God search me out. God search me. Know my heart and my thoughts. As you do that, you will see mighty hand of God coming forth to walk with you in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom.